All right, welcome back. Well, as you read, the Glory series is what you said about revenge, um, and it's specifically revenge uh, for someone who was bullied, or people, I should say, who were bullied, um, coming back to get revenge on their bullyers. Mm -hmm. uh, it was partially based on fact, meaning that some of the uh, people who were bullied were uh, suffered injuries that were similar to real people who were bullied, um, namely being burned by a curling iron uh, on the arms or other places of the body. Uh, and this has sparked kind of this, I wouldn't call it a movement, but a realization that bullying is both prevalent, uh, unpunished, and destructive. Mm -hmm. uh, this has caused many people to be either exposed as bulliers um, or people to even come forward as bulliers. Uh, people could apologize or not. Um, one of these sort of situations was a couple of volleyball players who had bullied their classmates and their uh, teammates for so long that it became a very big issue um, and they were subsequently f fired. I don't know what expelled? let go. Expelled? From school? No, no, no. It's They were a volleyball team, like professional. Oh, professional. Not professional. Team. Olympic, I believe. Oh, if yes. If my memory serves correctly. Fired. And they were expelled, um, expelled from the team, mm -hmm. we can say. Let go. Uh, so there are some real world consequences happening, but by and large, people who bully do not face consequences. And people are starting to ask the big questions of should they? Mm -hmm. And if they are going to face these, who should face them, what should the punishment be, and even people as young as, you know, middle school, mm -hmm. what should it be? Mm -hmm. um, but everyone does agree some changes need to be happening, maybe even drastic changes need to happen. Um, and I tend to be on the agreeing side of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they even, you know, want to look mm -hmm. at, well, is it cultural? Is it part mm -hmm. of the education system? You know, mm -hmm. are there structural changes also that can be made to mm -hmm. help discourage this behavior in the first mm -hmm. place? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Um, so let's ask the, I guess, a good question to see uh, why these uh, people who are bullying others, how they affect them. Like, how does it affect a bullied person? in their whole life, that sort of um, terrible situation. What do you guys think? How do how are people being bullied? How are they affected? I think for me, because I, I was bullied at school, I mean, not as seriously as some of the stuff you see in the glory, um, not physically bullied, um, but I think uh, being sort of pushed into that outsider status and laughed at consistently, it did some pretty serious damage to my self-esteem. I think it's yeah. taken me a long time as an adult even to, to fully sort of have confidence in myself again. Mm -hmm. So uh, I felt like it was definitely, well, not a lifelong issue, but a very long-term issue mm -hmm. compared to, you know, only a few years of, yeah. of bullying. Yeah, and I think there's a, also um, awareness that bullying doesn't have to be physical. Mm. It can be that ostracize, uh, ostracizing effect mm -hmm. where you don't feel like you're part of a community or you're not part of the community that you want to be. Mm -hmm. And that could really ruin things. I'm not good enough. Mm, mm -hmm. Yes, that there's something wrong with me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and among that comes the physical trauma as well. There can be physical bullying, and that causes extreme trauma. Could cause fear or even anger. Mm -hmm. It could even cause the person who was bullied to bully others to find some sort of semblance of power. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. just so many effects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, so I guess. We are teachers, but we're not kids' teachers. So, right. but maybe you know people or you have some of your own ideas. Yes. You know, how should school administrators, teachers, and parents handle cases of bullying? You know, what can the adults yeah. do in this situation? I don't know if I've been on the record here, but I'm on the record in my life that um, parents cause most of the issues that their children have, either intentionally or unintentionally. Mm -hmm. Children come out with DNA, correct, but mostly they are looking to the social cues around them for how to act. And so if they see those social cues uh, either mixed up weird or uh, causing harm to others, they might do that as well. So parents can handle this, I think, by just uh, being very mm, introspective about how they're acting in front of their kids and what they're teaching their kids. I think teachers can um, make sure, uh, teachers can be given power to end bullying in the classroom, 
because right now they can get in trouble for trying to end bullying in the mm -hmm. classroom. Mm -hmm. um, they could get uh, docked pay, um, suspensions, or just plain old get yelled at if they try to break up fights. And administrators can uh, probably give well doted out punishments to the bulliers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, it just needs to be an issue that is more visible and an issue that is more um, taken care of on all aspects of the kid's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think I would like mm -hmm. to see more discussions of bullying. You know, I think mm -hmm. teenagers themselves with, are trying to understand themselves yeah. at this age. And I, I, I don't remember there being any kind of discussions with anyone yeah. uh, as a class, yeah. you know, with our adult teachers giving guidance on, yeah. you know, if someone had been able to tell us the psychology behind bullying, you know, why do people do it? Mm -hmm. And that might have made us just reflect a little bit on our role in this situation. It could have caused some great change. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, why not? Talk to kids about yes. the concept of bullying, yes. why people might want to yes. do it, why people might feel drawn to it yes. or be vic become victims of it and, and get it out there in the open. Children are way smarter than we give credit for. Mm -hmm. they, they see everything mm -hmm. and they take it all in. Mm. And yeah, I think it would take the power away from the bulliers or I should call them bullies. Mm -hmm. That's the actual name for them. Mm -hmm. Um, when the victim realizes the psychology behind it. They just say, oh, you're just bullying me because of your insecurities, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then that power is gone. And mm -hmm. yeah, they might still get hit, but the bully and the bully, the bullied can, I guess, understand it. And that dynamic doesn't have to cause as much trauma mm -hmm. as it could. Um, for extreme cases like burning with an iron or a curling rod, mm -hmm. uh, that that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Mm. That, that does need some uh, punishment. Uh, There's got to be consequences, A psychiatrist right? for, uh, well, yeah, a required psychiatrist, you know, um, visit for the, or psychologist visit for, you know, years, months, whatever. Uh -huh. mm. yes. Could be. Wow. Uh, that got more intense than I expected. I also mm. talked way more than I wanted. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Every, this is why everybody's talking about the glory these days. Exactly. There's a lot mm -hmm. to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. And if you haven't watched it, but you have a squeamish uh, sort of stomach, there are sort of summaries online and on YouTube that you can watch to dis be a part of the discussion, not be the out group, <laughs> um, but not have to sit through that very uh, gory situations. Uh, but what isn't gory is the vocabulary. It's engrossing. It's engrossing. Yes, ab absolutely. And make sure to make it lifelong vocabulary by studying it well and using it in your everyday life. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Clamor. Clamor. Palpable. Palpable. Judicial. Judicial. Outrage. Outrage. Ostracize. Ostracize. 